um, we need to know that Egypt as a place has other uh, meanings. It has other things that it, uh, it represents. It has other things that it represents. Egypt can exist both in the mind and uh, in the physical. It can, ex it can exist both in the mind and uh, in the physical. Egypt in the mind is a kind of mentality, is a kind of mindset. Egypt in the physical is a kind of experience. Are you getting what I'm saying? But if you have the Egyptian mind, if you have the mind of Egypt, this slavery mentality, then it can translate into your physical reality. Most of the things we see as real realities around us, there are things that are, you know, the basis of our mindset. Do you understand what I'm saying? You know, the physical one, the physical Egypt is easy to be free from. But the one in the mind is the hardest. That's it. Because the physical Egypt, all you need is just a deliverer that will either cancel you out or push you out. But the one in the mind, <laughs> you have to take up the responsibility to daily, you know, to daily renew your mind by the word of God. Bible says we should renew our mind daily by the word of God. Are you getting what I'm saying? The Israelites were physically free from Egypt. But because they were still having the, 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 the mind of Egypt in them, they could not enter into the promised land. To be taken out of Egypt is not enough. Egypt must be taken out of you. You must understand that. Egypt must be what? Must be taken out of you. How do you do that? You know, you have to contend with that negative mentality by the word of God. Are you there? Contend with it. Contend by the word of God. Every negative mentality that you have is likened to the, the Egypt mentality. Are you there? The slavery kind of mentality. There are some people, they believe they cannot be free from a certain addiction. If I don't smoke one day now, ah, won't I die like this? Who told you? Those are, you know, Egypt mentality. The kind of mentality that the devil gives to you. Are you there? To, to make you feel like you are not complete if you don't do something sinful. To make it feel like um, it is impossible to, you know, to, to live right. You must believe it for you to become it. You must believe it for you to live it out. You must believe it for you to become your culture. Anything the devil wants you to act out, he first helps you to believe. You see, God is a teacher. The devil is also a teacher. If the mentality you have, if your mindset is wrong, then you have been taught by the devil. The kind of mentality, the kind of mindset you sustain is a pointer to the teacher that have successfully, you know, lectured you. Are you with me? So this is why we must uh, guard our life. Guard our heart. Ensure that our mind is daily renewed. You see, a mind that is not renewed by the word of God will be open to the teachings of the devil. So you see them believe a lot of things that are not true. And when you check their lives, they will live daily in error because their mentality is not right. May God help you to sustain the right mentality in the name of Jesus. Thank you.